Hey everyone, Joel Hanser, and today we're in Dallas, Texas. Yes, that's right, Dallas, Texas. Here at the Furlough Brothers and or Packin' Bulls. So yeah, there's like two companies going on the go here and lots and lots of delicious food. So Furlough Brothers and Packin' Bulls are located in the Commerce Fork Food Company, which is basically a house of a whole bunch of ghost kitchens. And it's right here on Commerce Street, uh, pretty low accessible to downtown, all these other cool areas. So basically we have Furlough Brothers, which are specializing in cheese steaks, but they also have burritos, they have like deep fried calzones, there's some really awesome, awesome items. And then we have packing bowls, which is like a healthier option. So you have like quinoa bowls, you have like cauliflower rice bowls, all served with everything you want, like brisket or chicken. Like it's absolutely amazing. Lots and lots of options. So this business is operating as like takeout. Of course, you know, all the, all the other uh, delivery apps like Uber Eats, Grubhub, Flip Dish. But of course, just go straight to the website. It just makes a lot more sense. So for today's challenge, we're going to have a big variety of everything. We're going to have four of their cheesesteaks called the Four Horsemen, if you will, plus one of their freaking State Fair calzones, which is a deep fried mac and cheese calzone with steak in it. Then we have a mac and cheese muffin. Yes, that's right. A mac and cheese fully loaded muffin. Sounds very interesting. And then we have two two of their bowls, which I get a pick. Um, that's from Packing Bowls. But I know they have brisket, so of course I'm going to pick brisket. I freaking love brisket. And then I'll probably go with some, like, they have a chicken one. It's like a Mediterranean. It sounds very delicious. Um, cheese steaks themselves, I, I'm well picking them. But I'm going to go with um, the OG. They have a bulgogi one, which sounds really interesting. They have a like kicking, blazing, like a spicy chicken. And then they have one again with brisket. I love brisket. You know what I'm saying? They call it the local smoker. So uh, that's pretty much it. Overall, we're going to have like 30 minutes to complete this all. It's a lot of food, but it sounds very delicious. And uh, that's about it. So ultimately, let's uh, head on in. Let's get everything finalized. We will be eating outside today and uh, that's about it so uh, let's eat some food. All right everyone so here we are with everything it all looks very very delicious so again I got the, the bowls the pack and bowls bowls I got brisket like I did get the Mediterranean chicken I also have an El Pastor burrito I forgot to mention so we have a burrito here this looks fantastic we got pineapple salsa everything in it um, but that's about that I need to get started I don't want this to cool off I'll probably start with the start with the OG might as well start with the OG the original how do we get started Ooh, crispy bread let's count of five four three two one let's eat That is definitely a crunch, but very flavorful. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Furlough Brothers in Dallas, Texas. So I love Texas, and Texas has really good food. And Dallas specifically is a great food scene. And so uh, coming to Dallas, I heard about Furlough Brothers here having some really great cheesesteaks and other innovative items. So definitely I wanted to give them a try, and especially when there was this challenge to be had. So this is the Four Horsemen. Actually, a really good seasoning on it. I know this is just cut. They actually uh, they cut the beef here. They season it here. Try more of that cheese sauce. So as we mentioned, we had the four cheesesteaks, which was the four horses in the four horsemen. We also had the uh, burrito. We had the calzone. Then of course the mac and cheese muffin, and then the pack and bowls bowls, which looked really delicious. And again, I was super excited that I got to pick my flavors. I like it. Bulgogi. It's very good, and the flies want a bite of it too, that's for sure. The meal cost somewhere about $80, and again, free if we complete this. That was definitely what we were going for. Um, I hoped I would have enough time and definitely I will say kind of the moisture, the deliciousness of the food definitely was helping it along. Um, the cheese sauce was kind of like a bechamel white cheese base with a couple smoked cheeses in it. Um, added a really nice flavor, again nice bit of moisture to it. Plus all the meats were very moist and they like were cutting everything there, they seasoned it all, like they basically made everything themselves. And the cool types of cheesesteaks, such as this chicken one, um, really kind of, let's say, revolutionized or gave some different options or perspectives on cheesesteak. We have the chicken. It's a buffalo chicken. It actually has blue cheese on it as well. Very nice flavor. And I will say, even though this was a very, you know, uh, out side the normality of cheesesteaks with this kind of chicken one um, it was very very good they had the flavor profile excellent it was a very good combination and that's really what i was noting on everything so like 
uh, you know, whereas the OG was just like had like good old peppers and stuff. Um, you know, the one with the bulgogi beef had very complimentary flavors. There you go, very complimentary on all the cheesesteaks. And again, still giving kind of innovation, a little bit of a new direction, um, and something really, to, I think, to kind of excite and awaken your palate. But that, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you right now. Pretty straightforward. Again, all the cheesesteaks, the calzone, the muffin, and the bowls. Um, 30 minutes. But that, I will let you get to the rest of the video. I might hop in a little bit later. Um, but I'll talk some more about the food, and ultimately, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. Now let's hit the brisket. I do this with a local smoker, and I do love brisket. So, whoo! I can smell the smoke. How are we doing for time, my friend? Uh, we are at 3.30. Did you say 3.30? Yeah. 3 seconds. Okay. I'm probably about four minutes in. Very delicious. This is fire. And that chicken one is fantastic. Well, that blue cheese and buffalo combo is actually really, really good. Have some pickled onions on there. Make all of that like they make all their sauces. All right. Next, let's try this burrito. El Paso burrito. Seems pretty hot still, so we'll find out. Woo! Oh yeah. Mm. Pineapple salsa and everything? Fire. A little spicy too, actually. Uh hot. We're about six minutes in. Woo! I'll tell you, it's a hot day out here. It's probably like 90 degrees. A lot of warm food heating me up. But, let's go into the bowls. So this one is like a brisket bowl on rice. They call it a smoke in a bowl. Different sauces and vinegars in there. Charred corn, a little bit of cheese. And their special sauce on top. It's just a bit of dill in there. I need a burp. It'll come. Actually, this is really good. I mean, this one you've got cauliflower rice, so you can do like keto option. Some beans and coleslaw in there as well. What can I help you with? Oh, you go inside and use the uh, machine in there. Yeah. The show does go on. Yeah, How does it work? Wow. <laughs> what part? Good part. Would you like to watch me eat? Everybody takes turns eating that table. We're all going to eat that. We're all going to eat that. We're all going to eat that. All right, next bowl with this is the Mediterranean chicken. Woo, cauliflower, or uh, no, maybe it didn't get, maybe, was that, maybe that was the cauliflower rice. Because this looks like normal rice. Try it backwards. That was a cliff I read. We have some uh, kind of like marinated eggplants here as well. Ooh. 
excuse me, there's that burp. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, that is fire. Yeah, this is fantastic. The flavors in here, the sauces. They even had roast chickpeas in, which are very, very good. All right. We are maybe like 11 minutes in, roughly. Yep. Roughly 11 minutes in. Down to the calzone and the muffin. Both mac and cheese fell. This one is called the State Fair calzone because they're like inspired by the Texas State Fair. We can get like deep fried butter, deep fried Twinkies. But this is literally macaroni and cheese with steak net and deep fried dough. There ain't nothing healthy about that. Good thing we have the healthy options with that pack of bowls, so. This might be very warm on the inside, too. Let's find out. Woo! That is uh, mac and cheese. All right. And that's definitely fried dough. That's pretty luscious, I'm not gonna lie. That is like, it's actually very tasty, but it's rich. It is uh, definitely. Ready to get one? Yeah, I'm ordered, I'm ready for it. I'm for it. You're gonna find out. This thing is, this thing is, this thing packs a punch. Very, very thick, creamy mac and cheese. Definitely homemade. Like I said, really packs a punch. Not calorie free. Just in case there are misconceptions at word, it was calorie free, it's definitely not. <laughs> And last but not least, the fully loaded mac and cheese muffin. And you've got steak and breadcrumbs and all kinds of stuff in there.
we are done. So about 60 minutes, 36 seconds. Honestly, very good. I was super surprised by some of the items. I really enjoyed it. I think absolutely my favorites. I really like when it came to the, the pack and bowls, the Mediterranean bowl is actually fantastic. Excuse me, comments the chef. Amazing, amazing flavors. Woo. Excuse me, more comments the chef. When it came to cheesesteaks, thoroughly actually enjoyed it. The OG was great, just like real classic. That chicken one was absolutely phenomenal and quite surprising. The buffalo and blue cheese combo is just absolutely delicious. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I, and the local smoker, the local smoker was very, very good as well. And I, you know, honestly, I, I have to say, that State Fair Calzone, it's worth trying. You might only want a bite or two or like half of it, but it, it is, it's, it's actually really good. I was really surprised. I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very skeptical, but I did very much enjoy it, but it is very heavy. So like I said, you have the healthy options of pack and bowls. You have the, at least the cows are definitely the least healthier option. But that huge thanks to Furlough Brothers here. Um, really funny story. Um, basically, they got laid off from their job. They have furloughed and they started to open up kind of this restaurant, this kind of ghost kitchen here. They've definitely taken Dallas by storm. Then you can get their stuff on all their, uh, their apps. And they're located at this really cool, uh, this little food place here. So everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. So next time, first, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, yeah, whether you want some healthy options with pack and bowls or some more lush options with Furlough Brothers, definitely check them out now. So that's about that. Really good and uh, probably gonna go sit in some AC for a little bit. And that's it everybody, so until next time. Oh, thanks everybody who came out by the way. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, have a lovely day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.